Was this the red half? It was then I knew. This was the place. The answers were right in front of me, buried among the ashes. There's got to be something left. There's something to like reconstruct here in the spirit realm. Don't see any prompts around it though. When you hear them squeal and you smell their bodies burning, you'll tell me everything. You'll beg me to listen. God. There were children inside? Was she? Was I? Do something over here. Didn't seem like we were able to enter. God damn freaks. You think you're so special? You burn just like the rest of us. Talk about a government agent, comrade. <laughs> Wake up, comrade. Socialism ain't gonna build itself. You don't know who you're messing with, kid. Oh, but I do. I've spent a lot of time getting to know you, Thomas. In fact, you're kind of a pet project of mine. Oh, yeah? What's my speedo size? <laughs> Funny guy. Oh, I love this one. You like it too, comrade? Fuck you. 
Let's play a game. It's called What Makes Thomas Tick. So, the Nazis found you in Warsaw when you were, what, three years old? Oh, they were gonna kill you, but they didn't. No, they saw your potential and wanted to harness it. But then, poof, the war's over. In comes the heroic Red Army, and they locked me up for years. Fucking savages. <laughs> they do important scientific research. Find out what it is that makes you special. And what is that exactly? Ask your mom. <laughs> you enjoy it, don't you? <sighs> Hurting people like those scientists. <sighs> what were you? Eighteen? <laughs> I saw the photographs. I know how to make a man hurt, but I gotta say, I wasn't impressed. Stick around. I'll give you a live demonstration. And there you were, free at last, but always on the run. And look at you, you almost made it. But you had to use this power of yours again. And on who? On your best friend, Richard. You had it coming. Yes! yes. I know, you want to well, revenge, I... I understand. I would do anything for my child, too. Whatever it takes. Leave my children out of this. Children. Yes. How much pain would you endure to keep them safe? What would you sacrifice for them? Your freedom, maybe? Let me go, you piece of shit! That's what I thought. I'll let you go. But first, I want you to tell me all about these powers of yours. Then earn it! Come on! Enough of this sissy shit! Hit me! I thought you'd never ask. <sighs> Get some rest, Thomas. The next time you wake up, the real pain begins. Wake up, sleepyhead. Time's running out. What did you do? Here. See yourself. No! <laughs> you sick fuck! Let me out of here! Let me out! Oh, you're still in there, Thomas. Will you show me now? Finally. I thought he'd never give us a chance. Okay. Gotta move fast. Thankfully, this place has a way of messing with the time flow. I still got a chance to save them. All work and no play, are you, Henry? All right. Let's see what makes you tick. No way across. Guess I'll just make my own. <laughs> Fuck. I'm not alone in here. Henry's 
sounds rather angry. This is a really cool world. Stacks of paper and filing cabinets. The fact that this person also has, like I said, I'm not alone in here. They also have a basically huge demonic looking creature, just like Robert did, which is, this is making me lean more towards the, this is just like the form, like their mind looks like this just because they're a horrible person. They don't literally have a demon in them. They have a metaphorical demon. Like, obviously, they're a fucking horrible person, so it makes sense that inside their head would be horrible things. But I'm really getting the feeling it's not, like, an actual demon, an actual possession. Case file, blah, blah, blah. Codename Butcher. Suspect Jacob Vilk or Vilk. Suspected of theft, fraud, illegal trade. Investigator Henry Vilk, senior constable. Investigating their own family. Fucking rat. to put this tape somewhere. Do you know why you're here? I'm not playing your games, Henry. <laughs> Don't call me that. The agency was led to believe you've been stealing meat from the working people of the Republic. Where would they get that idea, I wonder? <laughs> You've been a very bad boy. Let's just get this over with. Given your line of work, you had ample opportunity to commit your crime. It is a crime against the people. Punishable by death. Thing to say in your defense. I'm sorry, Henry. <sighs> Shit. stamps
I know you're here. You've been a very bad boy. Where come here? Mindscape is just all pigs, Henry. Slaughter and pigs. The fuck is wrong with them? You're told. Patriotism stronger than blood. Not often do we see patriotism of such quality as was displayed during these past weeks by Senior Constable Henry Vilk, a simple officer of the Civic Police. 
Vilk showed his commitment to building a righteous tomorrow of the People's Republic by rejecting the shackles of his criminal kinship. His daring investigation into the now infamous meat scandal led to a number of arrests, including one Jacob Vilk, Henry's own father. The irregularities uncovered by Officer Vilk included corruption, theft of high-quality meat products and replacing them for lesser ones. Apart from Jacob Vilk, numerous other culprits have been apprehended including four directors of the socialized meat trade and several store managers. Trial is to commence this coming Thursday, and if the accused are found guilty of their crimes, they will most likely face execution by hanging. When asked for comment, Officer Henry Vilk's response was simple. I only did what, I've, what felt just. Truly the words of a patriot. Henry really is the slimiest of the slime, huh? Your own family? Henry Vilk's identity card. Agent of the security service. You want me to feel sorry for you, Henry? Let's see how that works out. Oh, I didn't find you before. Vilk, is it? Henry Vilk? What's this about? <laughs> Straight to the point. No fear, no hesitation. If you wanted me dead, I'd be dead already. So, what do you want? I want to offer you a job. I'm listening. I've been doing this a long time. I've come to know people. See what makes them tick. See their potential. Agreed. On one condition. Huh? The work I do for you, it stays at work. That's the way we like it. It has to. If it doesn't, I'm holding you accountable. Welcome to the family. Have you ever heard of Neva? Special assignment for Major Henry Vilk. A person of interest has been found at the Neva Workers Resort near Krakow. Local investigators had reported of a strange case involving the painter classified. That'd be Robert. The person was found alive, but in a vegetative state. Foul play was suspected, but examination didn't show signs of brain trauma. Possible connection to the Gemini case. Keep it clean, keep it quiet, this is what we've been training you for. Note, I strongly recommend that you acquaint yourself with the Soviet scientist notes we acquired during Classified in 1950. You've been granted access to Archive Entry 1138. This is for your eyes only, Vilk. Dig in. Report to your case officer for further briefing. So that's what happened to Robert. Vegetative state is what they were left in. So basically killed them, but just kind of killed their mind rather than their body. What's this? Session 42. The subject continues to manifest strong supernatural powers. He claims that another classified is talking to him, showing visions. Working theory. Suspected connection to classified, possibly established as a result of a near-death experience. More tests necessary to confirm the split theory.
Session 43. Today's session halted prematurely due to an incident in the test chamber. While administering prescribed substances, lead scientist Dr. something came into skin-to-skin -skin contact with the subject. Classified was promptly hospitalized. Despite showing no signs of physical trauma, he fell into a vegetative state from which he is yet to recover. Further sessions have been halted indefinitely. Thomas was that test subject. Wait, is there something here? Why would I be able to examine it if there wasn't? There must be. Hidden in there. Session 44. Reminder for today's rescheduled session. Despite increased dosage, the subject remains extremely dangerous and needs to be restrained, both physically and mentally, for the duration of the test. Heightened security measures apply. Yeah, remember Henry was saying to Thomas, like, I know what you did to those scientists, how you hurt them. Can't get me up here, can you? Mom, Daddy, and me. I'm going away tonight. Yeah. Business trip, short notice. Couldn't be helped. Mm -hmm. Won't you say goodbye to him? I'm... 
Not sure if that's a good idea. I have work on my mind. I see. And again, maybe I should. Do you think I should? Whatever you wish, dear. I feel bad for the wife and kid. Simon? Where are you, boy? Dad? Hey there, champ. Are you going away again? Daddy has to go to work. Once I get back, we can go fishing. You'd like that, wouldn't you? I don't like it when you go. I know. But sometimes daddy needs to work. It's good for all of us. You understand, don't you? I... Yes, father. That's right, kid. Just come to me. I'll put an end to it. I'll set you free. No, it won't let us leave. The monster, it's... Don't worry about the monster, kid. I'll deal with it. I'll put it down for good. Not if it puts you down first. What did you say? Remember? It's him. It was always him. Thomas. Thomas is gone. You're too late, girl. It's you. You tried to kill us! 
What did you do to her? What did you do to Lillian? I was already dead. Your father made sure of that. Thomas Rekovich. My father. Was he the man on the pier? The man with the gun? The murderer from my dream? How could he? Why? I needed to know what happened after the fire. What happened to them? To me. I actually really like everything that just happened with the whole going into Henry's mind and confronting Henry thing. I actually thought that was really cool. Although it makes me even more confused about other things, but that one I liked because we get to the the child inside of Henry and I love that it does a little playing with your expectations where I was expecting it to be the whole, you know, there's a scared child who's a good person inside of them and it's just that I don't know, they've lost their way or something like that, right? Like, 
there's still good inside of Henry. It's just other things that made him bad or something. But then they flip that expectation on its head and it's like, no, what did you expect to find? Just a scared, guilty child? No, they're just fucking evil. And I love that. I absolutely love that. I think that's fantastic. But then if you work backwards and start to think, okay, what does that say about Robert? Well, inside of Robert was just a scared child with a guilty conscience. So what does that say about them? Does that say that they're a good person who just, like, <laughs> things went a bit wrong with? That I'm not okay with saying. No, they're fucking evil too. Robert's fucking evil too. I just, I wish that same thing happened with Robert. So, yeah, if you work backwards, what it says about Robert is not good. I don't like it. But on its own, I love it. And then I don't know what any of that says about Ursula. I, just, I think we're just dropping the Ursula plot thread and I don't think they're going to explore that anymore. But there is obviously a literal demon in all of this, even though Henry's seems to be figurative. And I guess Robert's was figurative as well. Ursula's was maybe literal, I don't know. But there is a literal demon chasing us, the Maw. So there is a demon at foot here. It's all very muddled and confusing, but yeah, going in Henry's mind, that I loved. I thought that was fantastic. Okay, Marianne, focus. This was your home once. There's got to be something here. I really do love the idea that Henry is just rotten to the core. Hmm. All burnt up, but I can still make out some of it. Butterflies, our favorite. A family photo. It's sad to see it like this. Left behind. Forgotten. Another photo. Somehow it feels wrong to just leave them lying around. I can't stand the look she gives her. She hates her because of what happened to you. She thinks it's her fault, as if she did it on purpose. She's still too young. She needs time to understand. But sometimes I'm afraid. Afraid she'll do something to her. I keep telling myself she would never. But then again, I know better than anyone. Everyone has their demons. Is that a dollhouse? How the hell did it survive the fire? Locked. Maybe there's a way to open it. I need a tiny key for a tiny door. I feel like I should find somewhere to put it. Oh, I guess I can put them all here. They probably need to go on in a specific order, I would guess. Let's switch to the other world. All right. Let's see what's on the flip side of this place. <laughs> all right, let's cut open this vanity. Oh, I thought it was like covering a mirror, but it's just a butterfly. An ornate butterfly. Why do I feel that's not all you are?
feelings etched into the wall. Hmm. I would say the first one represents unity, marriage. This one looks like maybe pregnancy, child. house hmm before I do that let me put the photos here oh uh, can I move them after I place them it's the dad with the two children I gotta put them down just to see what's actually there uh, this one I would say maybe is the like pregnancy kind of one you can see they're pregnant this doesn't feel right Maybe oh I yeah. Try a different order. Yeah, this one is the marriage one, so this one goes first. I think that's it. The Rekovich family history. Mask of joy. Oh. Looks like I could put something here. Oh, if I put that in another room, we'll come to a different room when I go through the mirror, right? Oh, that's cool. Strange. It feels like something shifted. Can I place the butterfly here, by the way? No. Not yet, anyway. I knew it. The dollhouse, the mirrors, it's all connected. This room feels like I shouldn't be here. Wait, I don't think this belongs here. Fish toy? Supposed to be in a different room? Another one of those butterflies. I, I hate you. All of you. None of you know. None of you understand. I do. The mall sounded a lot like Thomas there. Those the friends Satinus talked about? There's something underneath. Party with the devil? We need one more mask. feels 
very familiar. Locked. Four slots. I guess that means four butterflies. I don't think I can cut through. I don't need her! She took my mom away from me! I hate her! I wish she was dead! Lily, I... No, it was not my fault! What the hell's happening to me? is like an emotional graveyard. Her bought its way out with our lives. Lily, she. I need to find her. Huh. The basement looks almost intact. Maybe I'll find some clues down here. He's out there somewhere, that much I know. Hell, the fact I'm sitting here writing this and not drooling in the corner is proof enough. I just gotta find him. Funny, I always wanted to be... crossed out alone, so crossed out alone, instead wrote the only one. Now I'm starting to think there were never really two of us. Maybe we were always just two sides of the same coin. Either way, I need him. I need myself. To save her. Today's her birthday. It always brings me back to that moment, the first time I saw her. That wonderful, tiny creature. At the time, I'd do anything to just be her dad. To silence that other part of me. And now, I'm desperately trying to bring it back. To help her. To save her. 
I think I finally figured out a way. It's risky, but it's our only chance. If it fails, no, it will work. Has to work. Tell me about the fire, Lily. You were locked in, alone? No. We were not alone. No? Who else was there? The voice. Um, I, I didn't invite it. But it came anyway. Oh, Lily. Where's Marianne? She needs to stay at the hospital a while longer. Will she be alright? I want to see her. She's asleep, honey. The doctors aren't sure when she's gonna wake up. I was in a coma. That's why I couldn't remember anything. Lily, listen. You have to come with me now. Daddy? Wh where are you taking me? I'm sorry, baby. I'm so sorry. Thomas. What the hell did you do to her? She's sick, but it's not physical. He was right, that terrible night. Something has awakened. Something was born inside her. It's eating her from the inside, preying on her strength. Her little body withers. I have to do something. We need to do something. But I can still make out some of it. Matter of time watch shop in Krakow. A lot of love was put into this, but there's sadness, too. Happy anniversary. Ten years. Time flies, huh? Here's a little something to help you keep track. I love you, you big dummy. Jesus, this thing is serious. Looks like it's military. Solid steel. Combination lock. The watch was purchased 1976 and was a 10 year anniversary, so 1966. Ha, 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 ha. 
Whoops. Tapped the wrong direction for a split second, made the character do a turnaround, and there's a bit of, um... You have to wait a little bit before you can turn again, it's not like instant. thing. Need to charge up to be able to blast it. It's done. They'll never know. They can never know. They wouldn't understand. They would never forgive me. But they're safe. That's what matters. Separation. It's the only way. So that's when we were given up for adoption to keep us separate. 